school. So talk to me. You done made a decision not to do something stupid and go enlist, right? Uh, y- yes, sir. I'm looking to uh, get a contract now. Okay. So what's your questions? Uh, uh, kind of just like, A, what are the steps to start doing that and to set myself up? So I know you've talked about like, if you go, I don't know, the steel route, there's a long backup to go uh, to select, to go to Buds as an officer. Yeah. But do you, I don't know a ton about the path to go to uh, uh, to go to RASP too, really, once you commission. Do you, so, like, so here's you know the deal. You, you can't go to any of the – so the Army Special Forces are down the road, okay? But the good thing is you go you Army Infantry – and you're doing the same job. You just don't, you know, like my, my, one of my young dudes is going on deployment here in three months and they gave him everything, right? He's like, Jake, like we got everything, okay? So you're going to go do an infantry job probably the first three years and then you'll go to RAFs too and then you go over to, to, to Rangers. Now, here's something that I figured out. You don't get to stay over there very long. You'll be over there like three years then you're going to come back to conventional. So if you want to just stay in the life, then you got to go Green Berets, go to the Q course, the AFAS, and do it that way. I don't – here's what I tell everybody. Everybody's in a rush to go to the to the great jobs. Like, I don't have a problem going infantry for a couple of years, understanding what you got to do, working on your rucking, like getting all the read in so that when you go to selection, you're successful. Right? Everybody's in a rush to get there, but they're in a rush. You know, they're not in a rush when they fail out. So yeah. the process is pretty simple, man. You call your local army recruiter, talk to the officer, dude. You're at Norwich. They're going to take your call. You're going to go in. They're going to, you're going to go for your medical. Three months, every three months they have a board. So depending on when they, when you get in that cycle, um, you'll go to a board. There'll be two guys there. They'll interview you. They're going to pick you up. You're going to get selected. And then because you're at Norwich, I don't think you have to go to basic training. So you ask that question. Um, but because you're at a military school, you don't get you don't have to go to basic training. So you'll just go to OCS and then you'll get done with OCS and you'll go to IOBC, which is infantry officer basic school, and then you'll go to our course, and then you'll go to Ranger School if you want to. You go to SEER. Um, you go to airborne, like my dudes did all that stuff. And then they reported to their unit, um, infantry unit, and both of them dudes are killing it as infantry officers in the army. So, sir, you talked about going it through the OCS route. <clears throat> I still have three more years in college. Like, I'd like to try to earn an ROTC scholarship, not. Oh, that's fine. Then do it that way. No, no, no. You're good. Do it that way. I, I, for some reason, I thought you were getting out. Yeah, yeah. Do it that way. Um, just what type of things in the meantime should I be doing to become as attractive of a candidate as possible? How how much are you running? Honestly, like, I don't, like I wrestled, I've told you before, I don't, and I always would get chin splints. I don't run it. Like I'm a huge aerodyne bike guy. Like I can run the two miles in like 12 minutes, but I don't do a lot of road work. Okay. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. You are going to have to figure out your shin splints, bud. Um, because you will have to run in the army. Yeah, you, you can't get away with not running. Now, yeah. if you were in the SEAL team and you couldn't run, you did aerodyne every day, and every time you tested, you killed it, they let you be. But like in regular army, you're going to have to run. So the first thing I would tell you is get your get your running up to speed, figure out your shin splints. You got three yeah. years to do it. Okay? Yeah. Um, I watched a couple videos. I got a shin split thing on my channel, but there's a guy out there that swears shin splints are caused by running form. So you may have to change your running form a little bit um, to get over it. Like, I, there's no way you go in the military with shin splints. Yeah. Okay. But, like, you ain't got to do a lot of stuff, man. It ain't, you know. I, I tell everybody, like, I would tell you run for the next two years. Just run every day. Okay. Right? Vary it up. You ain't got to go, you know, run three, five, three, five. Whatever you do, just run. Yeah. You know, about 25 miles a week for the next two years, and you'll be fine. Okay. Outside of, like, the um, physical stuff, though, I was more asking, like, because I've, I've heard it's become increasingly competitive to become an infantry officer. You don't think that's true? No. 
The Army yeah. short infantry officers right now. Okay. All right. That's now, definitely if you were West Point, everybody trying to be an infantry officer. But I, none, neither one of my guys, now that was three years ago, but no one's had a problem getting an officer building in the Army. No one. Okay, I'm okay. And you're gonna be ROTC, right? Like, like you're yeah. at Norwich, so yeah. I mean, you might have the same thing out of Norwich. You may figure out. Are you just trying to get the ROTC scholarship to help pay for college? Paying for college isn't really the issue, but I figure if I'm going officer, I might as well try to get it for free. Okay, so then I I might tell you you might you might talk to them and they may say, well, listen, if you come in an OCS, we guarantee you an infantry officer billet, but if you go in through ROTC, we can't. So keep okay. that in mind, right? Yeah. You got to try to figure out the politics of your institution because you do have a lot of people on ROTC scholarships there. Yeah, yeah, the majority of kids are for sure. Yeah, So absolutely. Do you think I should try to go then, like, call the recruiter up in my school or should I talk to just the local recruiter down? In no, 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 go, go see the recruiter on, at school, right? Tell them where you're at. Tell them what you want to do. Then all you gotta do is apply for ROTC scholarship because you're only a you're a freshman right now. You just got done. You're getting done with freshman year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like you can still apply for ROTC scholarship your your freshman year of college, and okay. those applications are due right now. Okay. But I will go talk to the ROTC guys because they'll know the details, um, and then figure it out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So for 